The story of Fabergé begins in 1842. Gustave Fabergé, a jeweler of Huguenot descent, opened a modest shop in St. Petersburg, Russia. This marked the birth of the House of Fabergé. Gustave likely had no idea that his name would become synonymous with luxury and exquisite craftsmanship. He established a solid foundation for his sons to build upon. Gustave's son, Peter Karl Fabergé, joined the business in 1860 after receiving training in St. Petersburg, Dresden and Frankfurt. This marked a turning point. Peter Karl possessed a unique artistic vision and exceptional business acumen. He would transform the House of Fabergé into a world-renowned name. Under Peter Karl's guidance, the House of Fabergé flourished. The House of Fabergé's fortunes changed dramatically in 1882. This year marked a pivotal moment in the history of the renowned jewellery house, setting the stage for its rise to international fame and acclaim. At the Moscow Pan-Russian Exhibition, their work caught the eye of Tsar Alexander III. The exhibition was a grand event, showcasing the finest in Russian art, culture and craftsmanship. Among the many exhibits, the intricate and exquisite designs of Fabergé stood out, drawing the attention of the discerning Tsar. The Tsar, known for his appreciation of fine art and craftsmanship, was captivated by the beauty and originality of Fabergé's creations. His keen eye for detail and love for the arts made him the perfect patron for the House of Fabergé. The intricate designs and unparalleled craftsmanship of Fabergé's pieces resonated deeply with the Tsar, who saw in them a reflection of the grandeur and elegance of the Russian Empire. This encounter marked the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship between the House of Fabergé and the Russian Imperial Court. The Tsar's endorsement opened doors for Fabergé, allowing them to showcase their work to the most influential and affluent members of Russian society. The relationship between the Imperial Court and Fabergé was not just a business arrangement, but a partnership built on mutual respect and admiration for the art of jewellery making. Tsar Alexander III became a devoted patron of Fabergé. His support was unwavering, and he commissioned numerous pieces for his wife, Empress Maria Fyodorovna. The Empress, known for her refined taste and elegance, was equally enchanted by Fabergé's creations. The jewellery pieces became a symbol of their love and the opulence of the Russian court. He commissioned numerous pieces for his wife, Empress Maria Fyodorovna, including the first imperial Easter egg in 1885. This exquisite piece, crafted with meticulous attention to detail, set a new standard in the world of luxury jewellery. The imperial Easter egg was not just a gift, but a masterpiece that showcased the artistic brilliance and innovative spirit of Fabergé. This tradition continued under his son, Tsar Nicholas II, who presented these lavish gifts to his wife, Empress Alexandra Fyodorovna, and his mother, the Dowager Empress Maria Fyodorovna. The tradition of gifting Fabergé Easter eggs became a cherished custom in the imperial family, symbolizing the continuity of the dynasty and the enduring legacy of Fabergé's artistry. The patronage of the Russian imperial family brought immense prestige to the House of Fabergé. Their association with the imperial family elevated their status and solidified their reputation as the jewelers of choice for the elite. The Fabergé workshop became a hub of creativity and innovation, attracting the finest artisans and craftsmen from across Russia. It solidified their reputation as the preeminent jewelers of their time. The Fabergé name became synonymous with luxury, elegance and unparalleled craftsmanship. Their creations were not just jewellery but works of art that told a story of opulence and sophistication. The demand for their creations soared among the Russian nobility and European royalty. Fabergé's pieces were highly sought after, not just in Russia but across Europe. The European aristocracy, known for their love of fine jewellery, were captivated by the unique designs and exquisite craftsmanship of Fabergé. The Fabergé showroom became a destination for those seeking the finest in luxury jewellery. Fabergé became a symbol of luxury and refinement. Their creations were a testament to the artistic brilliance and innovative spirit of the House of Fabergé. 
Each piece was a masterpiece, crafted with meticulous attention to detail and a deep understanding of the art of jewellery making. The legacy of Fabergé continues to inspire and captivate, a true testament to the enduring power of art and craftsmanship. The Fabergé eggs are arguably the most iconic creations of the House of Fabergé. These exquisite pieces of art are not just symbols of opulence, but also of intricate craftsmanship and historical significance. Each egg tells a story, a narrative woven with gold, gems and unparalleled artistry. These jeweled eggs, often crafted from gold and encrusted with precious gems, were far more than decorative objects. They were symbols of luxury and power, often commissioned by the Russian imperial family and other wealthy patrons. The meticulous attention to detail in each piece is a testament to the skill and dedication of the artisans who created them. They were intricate masterpieces of engineering and artistry, each containing a hidden surprise. The mechanisms inside these eggs were marvels of miniaturization, often involving complex clockwork and delicate moving parts. The surprises within were not just random trinkets, but carefully chosen elements that held personal significance for the recipient. The first Imperial Easter egg, commissioned by Tsar Alexander III for his wife in 1885, set the standard for those that followed. This egg, known as the Hen Egg, was a simple yet elegant creation that captivated the Empress and set a precedent for future commissions. The tradition of gifting these eggs became an annual event eagerly anticipated by the Russian court. Known as the Hen Egg, it featured a plain white enamel exterior that opened to reveal a golden yolk. This seemingly modest exterior belied the intricate surprises within, a hallmark of Fabergé's genius. The golden yolk itself opened to reveal further treasures, each layer adding to the sense of wonder and delight. Inside the yolk, a miniature golden hen, further adorned with ruby eyes and a diamond replica of the imperial crown, awaited discovery. This layering of surprises within surprises was a signature of Fabergé's work, each element meticulously crafted to perfection. The hen, with its lifelike detail and precious adornments, was a marvel of miniature artistry. The element of surprise became a defining characteristic of the Fabergé eggs. Each egg was a puzzle, a mystery waiting to be unveiled. The anticipation of discovering what lay within added to the allure and mystique of these creations. It was this sense of wonder that made the eggs so cherished by their recipients. Each egg concealed a miniature treasure. These treasures were not just valuable in terms of material worth, but also in their emotional and symbolic significance. They often reflected the personal interests, hobbies or significant life events of the recipient, making each egg a deeply personal gift. These ranged from tiny working clocks which were marvels of horological engineering, to other intricate mechanisms that showcased the technical prowess of the Fabergé workshops. The inclusion of such functional elements within the eggs added another layer of complexity and fascination, and miniature portraits of family members capturing the likenesses of loved ones in exquisite detail. These portraits were often painted on ivory or other fine materials, and their inclusion within the eggs added a deeply personal touch, making the eggs not just objects of beauty, but also of sentimental value. To exquisitely detailed models of imperial palaces and yachts, these miniature replicas were crafted with astonishing accuracy, down to the smallest architectural details. They served as reminders of the grandeur and opulence of the Russian Empire, encapsulated within the confines of a single egg. These surprises delighted their recipients and showcased the boundless creativity and technical prowess of the Fabergé workshops. The joy and amazement that these eggs brought to their owners were a testament to the extraordinary skill and imagination of the artisans who created them. Each egg was a masterpiece, a blend of art, engineering and personal storytelling, making them timeless treasures that continue to fascinate and inspire to this day. While the Fabergé eggs remain the most famous creations of the House of Fabergé, they represent only a fraction of the diverse and exquisite objects produced by their workshops. The House of Fabergé, founded in 1842, became synonymous with luxury 
and unparalleled craftsmanship. Peter Carl Fabergé's vision extended far beyond these imperial commissions. He was a master jeweler who believed in pushing the boundaries of creativity and artistry. He sought to create beautiful and functional objects for a discerning clientele. His workshops were filled with skilled artisans who shared his passion for excellence. The House of Fabergé produced a dazzling array of objects, each one a testament to the meticulous attention to detail and innovative design that defined the brand. From intricately designed cigarette cases and picture frames, which were often adorned with precious stones and intricate enamel work, to delicate flower studies crafted from precious metals and gemstones, each piece was a work of art in its own right. They created whimsical animal figurines, capturing the essence of various creatures with remarkable precision and charm. Often carved from semi-precious stones chosen for their natural colors and patterns, these figurines were both playful and sophisticated. Fabergé's artisans also excelled in the creation of practical yet luxurious everyday items. These included silver tableware, which was not only functional but also a statement of elegance and refinement. Clocks, walking sticks and even bell pushes were transformed into objects of beauty, each one reflecting the high standards of the House of Fabergé. Each piece, regardless of its intended use, was crafted with the same dedication to quality and artistry. The artisans at Fabergé were true masters of their craft, ensuring that every item met the exacting standards set by Peter Carl Fabergé himself. Each piece bore the unmistakable hallmark of Fabergé's commitment to quality, craftsmanship and exquisite design. This hallmark was not just a mark of authenticity, but a symbol of the unparalleled artistry that defined the House of Fabergé. The legacy of Fabergé continues to inspire and captivate, a testament to the enduring allure of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty.